hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about who is spying on your social media and why okay so for pile number one you're going to be the moonstone crystal pile number two you're going to be the amethyst crystal and pile number three you're going to be the rose quartz crystal So again, pile number one, Moonstone Crystal. Pile number two, the Amethyst Crystal. And pile number three, the Rose Quartz Crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Bawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pound number one, you picked the Moonstone Crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, who is spying on your social media? and why who's spying on your social media my pal number one let's see who's spying on you we have 10th house authority so it could be somebody in an authority position it could be a capricorn um some of you could be a manager it could be a boss or like just somebody who has their own business but it's somebody who is um i heard public figure oh my gosh <laughs> or somebody who considers themselves a public figure yeah but i feel like it's like a boss or a manager or something like that who's spying on your social media we have the two of wands and we have the queen of cups so it could be a water sign it could be a feminine energy um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, don't have to be, but we have the two of wands. This is somebody who is action oriented. I feel like this person with the Queen of Cups is very fond of you. They really like you. They really like your energy and they want to know more about you, what you do on your personal life, with your personal life, on your personal time. Okay. And I feel like some of you, your social media is so private. <laughs> <laughs> that this person is having like a hard time trying to find you and if they have found you they're having a hard time deciphering like what is it that you do on your spare time because you post so little on your social media yeah we have moon the moon okay so this person could definitely have pisces in their chart and this person is very in tune with their emotions they're in tune with you they really like your vibe they feel like you're somebody who's really um charming we have the seven of pentacles okay this person could be really invested in your growth or invested in you or invested in what you got going on so this is somebody who's very curious about you they like because you intrigue this person you come off as very mysterious to this person and they don't know like how to approach you this person wants to ask you personal questions but they feel like you're very closed off. Yeah, hermit. Yeah, they feel like you're very closed off. 
um, you know, you keep to yourself, you're very quiet with the hermit. Like, it's not like you, you give this person a bad vibe because I'm not getting that. It's just that this person wants to know more about you. They want to know what you do for, um, like, on your spare times. This is why I'm getting, like, it could be a manager. It could be, like, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be your manager. It could just be a manager at your workplace that really likes you, that really likes your vibe, okay? Yeah, we have the lovers. This person could have Gemini in their chart, okay? But I'm getting like, this is somebody who's very fond of you. They really like you. They want to know more about you. They they want to know more about, like, what you do. I keep getting that. Like, I keep saying that because that's what I'm getting. This person wants to know more about you because you're so private. Or you may re you could be very secretive or just, you know, keep to yourself. Or, like, you know, you may not mingle that much with others at your workplace. Not that you are um anti-social or anything like that it's just that you're very quiet you keep to yourself you you mind your business and that's one thing that they really like about you is because you don't get caught up in no drama okay so who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media we have three of swords maybe this person might feel rejected by you or they feel like you are shutting them out or you don't want to let them in we have the queen of wands for some of you pound number one it could be two people two women it could be two women at your workplace i keep getting workplace they could be in a management position like i said they don't have to be your manager they could just be a manager at your workplace that want to know more about you and i'm getting like it's a fire sign and a water sign that wants to know more about you they're very intrigued with you um, one of the fire, like one, one of the fires, the fire sign may be a little bit intimidated by you because of like your, your ability to stand strong on your own and your ability to, um, be independent while the fire sign may want you to be more open or more dependent on them while you are like, let's say if you do your work, you don't really need to be told what to do. You just they tell you okay this is what we need from you and you get right to it you don't procrastinate you don't linger you just get to work and you don't say anything like you don't complain about it you just get it done and work work with it okay this is what i'm getting here we have the ace of pentacles they may offer you some sort of new um, responsibility or position with the ace of pentacles they want you to work with them uh, we have the Knight of Swords. So could, there could also be a masculine energy or another feminine energy. Wow, we have the Empress. Ooh, okay. They view you as the Empress, whether you are a woman or a man here. But there could also be the CEO of the company. Could be a woman. And they could be all talking about you, all trying to find out things about you. If they have you on LinkedIn, okay? Because so sometimes, you know, LinkedIn is like the social media for business, okay, for finding a new job or things like that. So LinkedIn is that place for it, okay? So it's like social media. It's like, you know, Instagram for work, right? So I feel like maybe some of you may have these people on your LinkedIn account. So they're trying to find out things about you, but you don't really post too much. You don't really like stuff too much. Like, it's like, you know, you're, even though you have an account, it's like you're kind of like ghost there because you don't really post much and it's kind of fun it's kind of hard to find information on you online when they type in your name yeah we have the king of wands so there's also a masculine oh my gosh i feel like there's a lot of people at your workplace <laughs> that are spying on your social media follow number one you have like at least five people spying on you yeah like you have five queen of cups queen of wands empress king of wands and then a knight of swords okay so you have five people spying on you and it's i really feel like it's in your workplace that are spying on you because you're so quiet you know you're you're humble you don't really try to act a certain way around people you're very respectful okay this is what i'm getting here we also have a knight of wands yo you're popular <laughs> Found number one, you're popular at your workplace, okay? And if it's not your workplace, it's your neighborhood. But it's people around you, has direct contact with you that are trying to spy on your social media. So it's people that know your name. 
that have access to like you know personal information like your first last name or something like that okay we have the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles speaks to me as like they think of you as somebody who is independent somebody who's self-sufficient somebody who lives a life of luxury a life of abundance with the nine of pentacles they could be intoxicated by you we may have a capricorn wow because we do have authority and we have the devil here so there is a capricorn that might be obsessed with you as well in your workplace the, this could be like the head person of the group <laughs> like a masculine that is obsessed with you that want to know more about you but it's a group of people my pal number one that are um spying on your social media it's a group of people that are invested in you they want to know more about you some of them they might feel rejected because like you don't really want to tell them too much about yourself and what you got going on you keep it a secret but they're trying to find ways to um have you open up to them okay so who's spying on your social media now we have the page of pentacles wow like i'm telling you it's a group of people who's spying on your social media we have the temperance energy sagittarius energy so the king of wands or the knight of wands could be a sagittarius somebody who is um even tempered well balanced somebody who is laid back okay um i'm also getting like somebody who is um like I feel like this person has their eyes on you as well. They're not just spying on your social media. They have their eyes on you, but it's people around you in your workplace. I'm getting like heavy on the workplace that is spying on your social media. So who's spying on your social media? We have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, they are invested in you, dedicated to you, dedicated in knowing you. Because I feel like, like I said earlier, your social media is either extremely private where like you know they have to add you in order to see your pictures so they could only see your your like bio and they could only see your your profile picture some of you you may have it public but you don't have a lot of pictures or the pictures that you post are not really a clear um, indication of what you do on your spare times okay so it may just be really nice pictures but it just could be like you hanging out with your friends hanging out with your family so if they can't really determine what is it that you do as a hobby because you don't post these things on your social media but for some of you I'm getting like your social media is fire you have some nice ass pictures okay <laughs> like <laughs> you know really nice pictures and they are intrigued but your pictures do not really tell like it like in your pictures i'm getting like you come off as the nine of pentacles high maintenance you do your nails your you know your hair done you know you go out with friends you guys are having like nice brunches like they could see they could tell by your pictures that this is what you do on your spare time but they're wondering like how do you um afford that lifestyle because it seems like you have a lavish lifestyle with the nine of pentacles and others of you like you don't even post anything so it's like really depends this is what i'm getting here it all depends because this is a re um, general reading not everything will resonate with you but all i'm getting is like you have multiple people in your workplace that are intrigued by you so why are they spying on your social media? Why are they spying? We have main male. I'm telling you, there's a male, main male in your workplace that is spying on your social media because they like you. They want to get to know you more. It says ju judication. So this is like, this is giving me like Libra energy, um, justice energy. So judication, why are they spying on your social media? It's just like they want, mm, some of them, they may want to find out if what you're doing on your spare time is legit. They're trying to see if you have, especially that queen of wands, that queen of wands may want to, like the reason why she's spying on social media is to see what you do for, you know, on your spare time, if it's legit or if it's like, you know, trying to catch you slipping some type of way, okay? I'm getting like this queen of wands is kind of jealous of you. So just be careful of that if you know a queen of wands in your workplace she may be jealous of you i'm telling you we have the lovers here okay the lovers i'm telling you there's somebody at your workplace that is spying on your social media because they like you they want to know if you have a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend already because we do have the lovers here as well so who's spying why are they spying on your social media why are they spying because it's all these people spying on you Ooh, we have concern. Somebody's worried. Somebody's stressed. 
<laughs> you have somebody stressing over you, my pal number one. Uh, you have so many people like stressing over you. Despair. Yeah, is that person's energy, the lover's energy that is in despair, they're in concern. They're concerned that you may have already someone else and this person's catching feeling, feelings for you hard. You see, I can't even speak. Whoever is that person is, they're catching for you hard and expectation. Mm. This person's expecting something. They're expecting to find out something about you that's going to make uh, give them... Uh, ooh, I don't know why I heard a reason to judge you. There's, I'm telling you, there's a person that's hating on you heavy. That queen of wands, I'm telling you, that queen of wands, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it could be somebody who loves the attention on them, somebody who's a show off, somebody who, you know, it's all about them and everything about them with the queen of wands. It's like they want all the attention on them and you are getting, I feel like the reason why they are spying on your social media as well is because this person is jealous of the fact that you get all the attention at work and you don't have to try too much. You don't have to be loud. You don't have to be all over the place. People are just drawn to you for your quiet, reserved nature. Okay, maybe some of you are very soft-spoken when you speak at work, like you don't really talk loudly, you don't yell and anything like that. Maybe like, you know, when you're excited, maybe like, you know, that's when you, you're more animated. That's normal. Everybody's like that when they're excited. You know, you, you could tell by the voice that, you know, the tone of voice that somebody's excited. But most of the time when you speak, it's not like loud or aggressive or anything like that. It's more relaxed you know pose you know, <laughs> I don't know guys pose means relax in creole so it's more like you know lay back type of energy this is what i'm getting here and maybe like even though you're like that you still get all eyes on you everybody's attention is on you and this is what i'm getting here there could be somebody who is jealous of that energy that you possess that attraction that serene siren energy okay very calm cool and collected and very drawn in this is what i'm getting here and this is why they may be expecting to see something negative about you so that way they could use it against you to make you feel some type of way or to have people look at you in a different way okay so we're going to use the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be or these people it doesn't have to be like everybody's sign but it could be a specific person in that group so like i said pound number one it's a group of people it's not just one person but it's a main male that could be like the number one person like looking into you that is in an authority figure so who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media we have seven um seven i'm like seven seventh house um south node and then we have gemini okay so we do have the lovers here twice so it could definitely have gemini in their chart or that could be you okay or gemini in seventh house or gemini in a south node all right so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, Bell2. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the Amethyst Crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spa or previous readings, okay? So my pal, Number two, who's spying on your social media and why? Who's spying on your social media, my pal? Number two, what do we have here? We have Libra balance. So this person could be a Libran or that could be you. This person could be in the legal um, system, juris, jur wow, judication, I'm like, <laughs> Juristic. Wow, I can't even speak. <laughs> Let me not say the word. <laughs> okay. 
Juris, juris, oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't say the word, it's not coming out. Maybe this person's like, shush your mouth, don't be snitching on me. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, this person could be into beauty as well with the Libran energy, or that could be you. Okay, so this person is very attractive. Ooh, this person likes you with the Knight of Cups. They may want to ask you out on a date. This is somebody who could be very romantic, but this is giving me a uh, romantic interest here. Okay, wow, this person's coming in with an offer with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, yes, my pal number two. This is somebody who likes you, who is spying on your social media. We have the Hermit card. This person could be at a distance from you. Or this could also be a Libra, uh, Virgo, Cusper. Okay, or that could be you. But this is somebody who likes to spend a lot of time alone. They may like to go to the library all the time. Or they may like to go to Chapters or Indigo. I don't know if you guys have that in um, the States. But yeah, Chapters is a bookstore. Indigo. Some of them is like Indigo. I, don't, I think they're called indigos now but yeah it's like um this person may work there as well or they may own one or something like that yeah this is somebody who's looking to be in a romantic relationship with you they want to come towards you okay this is what i'm getting here with the hermit they're studying you okay they're definitely studying you watching you closely so who's spying on your social media we have the eight of swords but we also have the car we have the queen of swords so this person could have air in their chart they may come off as very stoic or emotionally unavailable or just uh reserved with the queen of swords but this person has a lot of anxiety with the eight of swords because they are worried that you may not be interested in them this person is afraid of rejection but they feel like you are worth the try worth the risk okay i heard worth the embarrassment if you were to reject them because this person really likes you they like what they see they are one of your followers okay on social media this person likes your videos they likes your they like your your post they even comment on your post very often okay this is like one of the pe first people to like your pictures okay so let's say if you post a picture like you know after like one minute <laughs> you have like so many likes or something this person is one of them like they watch your social media very closely they like what you post they like everything about you and this is the reason why they want to come towards you with a love offer but they are very um this person is very i, heard, I don't know why i heard meticulous and they're detail oriented and they want to come towards you with a offer that you can't refuse and they want to come in and make a really good first impression okay especially if this is like online where they have to send you a dm and this is not somebody who lives very like in a, in a, a proximity from you my gosh i can't even speak they may have to like you know send you a dm they can't come close to you like that like too easily maybe they have to drive to you an hour or two hours or something like that so let's say i'll just give an example of toronto Toronto there's multiple cities around Toronto that are part of the GTA uh, greater Toronto area that's what GTA stands for so let's say for instance this person lives in Brampton so and you live in Scarborough um, that's a really good distance even though it's like in the same area it's not the same city but it's like you, there is a big distance if you were to drive from Scarborough to Brampton in traffic that's at least an hour and a half okay <laughs> like especially with the crazy traffic so this is what i'm getting here okay i'm just giving an example it doesn't have to be somebody from toronto you don't have to be from toronto but that's like the closest example that i could give um but yeah this is what i'm getting here this person is at a distance from you so the only way that could they really could get into contact with you right away is to send you a dm however this person is afraid that you may reject them with the eight of swords or you may not receive them well because you've never met this person before this is a stranger 
five of wands yeah this person is willing to compete for you to fight for you okay because they could see that you get a lot of attention online people like you people are gravitating towards you we have the king of swords so you guys are definitely in an intellectual match to each other they like the way you think they like the way that you articulate yourself the way that you present your ideas to the world okay so we have libra here and then libra is an air sign so you could be an air sign or this person could be an air sign don't have to be an air sign but I feel like mentally this person feels like you guys are a match you guys understand each other or like they feel that way wow we have justice Libra energy again guys and Libra rules the seventh house seventh house is the house of relationships so this is really giving me somebody who wants to be committed to you okay they see themselves like in a beautiful relationship with you we have the nine of pentacles this is somebody who lives a life of luxury. They could be an influencer. This person's giving me influencer vibes, okay? And you could be an influencer as well, my pal. Number two, don't have to be. You may just have like an active social media where you interact with your followers and they interact back with you and it brings engagement to your posts, to your page, your videos. And this person likes that, the way that you engage with your crowd, your audience, and they really like that about you. And this is the reason why they follow you. But then now they have taken in a romantic interest in you. And with the Nine of Pentacles energy, I'm gonna this person really, really likes the fact that you're independent just like them and that you handle you handle your own we have the chariot here cancer energy this person could have cancer in their chart but they are driven i'm um, getting like i said earlier about the toronto example this person is at a distance from you we have the ace of wands yeah this is a creative in individual they use their creativity to make money so this is giving me con like i said content creator influencer or like a business owner they may have like online business okay um they also may have a brick and motor so like actually an actual location i can't even speak an actual location okay this is what i'm getting here Ooh, we have the uh, knight of wands we have the king of cups and we have the six the sun so i can't take all of them so i'll just do it again but this person is very attracted to you ace of swords guys i can't make it up we have the ace of swords and ace of wands so this person is extremely attracted to you they're going to come in with some sort of truth as well with some sort of communication you could expect some communication from this person they they really want to message you wow we have the king of cups again guys yes this person really likes you uh too many cards okay we have the chariot again so cancer energy this is somebody who's in tune with their emotions they could be a little bit older than you or just um i'm getting like a lot of maturity here if they're not older than you emotional maturity with the knight uh, with the king of cups they're they're passionate about you they're extremely passionate about you yeah we have the ten of pentacles this is somebody who's financially abundant somebody who's doing well Okay, somebody who has, ooh, we have the lovers. Okay, I'm gonna cover the card. Ooh, we have the Nine of Pentacles again. I'm telling you, this person wants to be with you. This is good. Uh, this is somebody who wants to be in a romantic relationship with you. They see you as a match. Mentally, they feel like you guys would have amazing, stimulating conversations. Okay, just by what you post and how you interact with your audience, lets this person know that you are somebody who is broad-minded somebody who's open-minded somebody who's extremely at articulate highly intelligent and they are um, attracted to that that's what they like in a person in a woman or a man somebody who could engage in a stimulating conversation that could bring something to the table other than their looks or money like this person is looking for substance and they feel like they could find that in you and with the nine of pentacles being here twice this is somebody who is abundant this is somebody who's self-sufficient and this is someone that could do well on their own and is actually doing well on their own They're, like i said page of swords this person is studying you that's what I got with the hermit but they're studying you very hard or they have been studying you for a while with the page of swords and they really like what they see with the lovers being here this person wants to be with you they want to be in a, rela a relationship with you so why are they spying on your social media we have pathway because they want to come towards you they want to come towards you with a love offer that's why they're spying on your social media 
okay we have distant horizons so this is giving me wow pathway 35 distance horizon 36 is like a continuation this is giving me chariot energy so this person is definitely at a distance from you coming towards you this is why i was getting like you guys may not be in the same city but they're coming towards you because they want to offer you something they want to be with you they see themselves in in a long-term a committed relationship i can't even speak somebody just don't want you to know that maybe they want to discourage you or stop you from coming towards this person but i'm getting like a really positive vibe from them wow we have great fortune uh, this is amazing this is the ten of pentacles we have the ten of pentacles twice here they're coming towards you because they feel like they could build something sustainable with you that's going to last the test of time so why are they come why are they spying towards you why well, i'm like why are they spying towards you <laughs> why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media family room hmm i feel like this person talks about you they want to have a family with you i feel like they like what i'm getting is somebody who wants to have something long a longevity with you okay so why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media we have house they want to build something with you wow we have continuation we have family room and in house why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media high honor oh my gosh they view you as high honor look at that 26 25 26 35 36 21 like 2021 20, like continuation wow i cut the deck open and we have the lovers uh oh, i'm telling you holy moly yeah this person like sees you as the love of their life or somebody that they they hold you in high honors with the high honor cards here okay they this is the reason why they're spying on your social media they feel like you are somebody worthy of getting to know like they want to get to know you on a personal level and also in a romantic sense because we have the knight of cups we also have the king of cups so this person is coming in with a love offer towards you they're extremely passionate about you with the ace of wands this is what i'm getting here and they like what they see like obviously they are attracted to your beauty okay your looks that's one thing that captured their attention however what is keeping them hooked is your personality with the queen of swords and now they want to know more now they want to you know take you out on a date so i feel like this person is going to ask you out on a date very soon to make it official because this person wants to make it official they see longevity with you they see a house they see a family with you and they see like great fortune in the sense where you guys could come together and collaborate and create something beautiful so if let's say for instance like i said this person gives me the vibe that they are a content creator and you are a content creator maybe this person wants to have like a you know a couple's channel or something where you guys combine your skills and your talent and then showcase it or you know to the public this is what i'm getting here this person may want that with you okay and they feel like you guys would be great a great team a great pair a great match and we do have the queen and the king of swords here so this is definitely giving me a vibe where this person feels like you guys are equals to each other okay so we're going to be using the astrid eyes to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so it could be your sign or this person's sign okay so who's spying on your social media Who's spying on your social media? My pile number two. Who's spying on your social media? Okay, so we have Aquarius, air sign, and we have Uranus. And we have second house. So this person could have uh, Aquarius in second house or Aquarius in Uranus. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the rose quartz crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back 
and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pile number three who's spying on your social media and why who's spying on your social media and why my pile number three so let's see who's spying on your social media we have fifth house passion so this person could be a leo or that could be you you could be the leo here but this is somebody who's passionate about you i heard maybe this person wants to have a one night stand with you they're very sexually attracted to you okay there's a lot of sexual attraction here maybe you guys met at a i heard a book club um a gym like um you know not like a workout but more like a gym where you know you may do martial arts or something like that okay oh we have the five of cups but it came out in reverse this is somebody who may have had may have had some sort of regret or may, maybe this person regretted not coming towards you wow we have the five of pentacles for some of you, you may have left this person out in the cold and they want to come out of the cold with you or they have rejected you before i don't know let's see like this is giving me a vibe of somebody that could have or have some sort of regret where they miss a chance with you we have the nine of pentacles and we have the eight of swords so this is giving me the vibe that this person could be self-employed self-sufficient i'm getting like a cocky energy from this person because they're very good looking they have their ish together they have money their finances are in order but with the eight of swords there's something about you that this guy wow this person is a woman to talk. <laughs> There's something about you that's making this person nervous. Okay. Ooh, this person's ego is bruised with the nine of wands. <laughs> you may have rejected this person in the past. Maybe you rejected this person's advances towards you. Maybe this person wouldn't, like I feel like I said earlier, in one night stand or the sexual attraction, passion here. But it's like, you don't want that you want something serious you don't want to just give your body away just because somebody's sexually attracted to you like no you're not gonna do that and this is what i'm getting here and this person may feel some type of way because this person is cocky they are very good looking they have a lot of things going on for themselves they may have they may drive a nice car i heard lexus maybe they drive a bmw a mercedes an audi okay and one of those luxurious cars okay high-end cars and this person feels some type of way about you rejected them okay because this person may have like they wanted to just have a fling with you and you're like no like i want something more yeah king of pentacles i'm telling you this person's balling <laughs> they have money they could have earth in their chart and it's giving i'm getting like capricorn energy or virgo also taurus but i'm getting like mostly capricorn or virgo energy where this person feels like nah man like you know, i'm that guy or i'm that girl everybody wants me like i can get whoever i want so why are you <laughs> why are you not falling in line pal number three why can't i have you this person could be obsessed with you okay and they're spying on your social media to see what you got going on i'm getting this is somebody who is very obsessed with your energy obsessed with your vibe okay because like you're probably one of the first people that ever rejected them <laughs> we have this ace of swords guys is the truth you're probably one of the first people that ever rejected this person and they thought like yo look at me i look good like i'm fly i dress nicely i smell good my hair is always done my nails are always did i have a beautiful house i have a beautiful car why you don't want me pile number three who who do you think you are <laughs> this is what this person is saying like you know who do you think you are rejecting me like i'm that guy like well i'm that girl but i'm gonna get some masculine energy okay like even if it's a woman because we have the king of pentacles this is a woman that has a lot of pride this is somebody this is a woman that has a huge ego and having like being in your ego is more of a masculine trait than a feminine trait i'm not saying that women cannot be in their ego that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is it's more of a masculine trait 
to be like I'm that guy or I'm this person like having pride you know I'm not saying women don't have pride but women have more compassion more understanding and this woman okay she is like very conceited like her looks are everything to her her body like you know she takes really good care of herself she really takes good care of her health but she may be a little bit shallow where things that are superficial are very important to her while for you you may look for substance okay so who's spying on your social media it could be like a man as well same thing okay but I'm getting somebody who's operating their masculine energy. Yeah, somebody who wants to be in a relationship with you, but not for the right reasons, okay? This person could also want you because of your eye candy to them. You would look good on their arm, especially if you're a woman here and you're very attractive. This person is all about looks, superficiality. This person is not about death. As long as you make them look good, they're happy. And I feel like at one point in time when you guys were talking you made this person look good you made them like you know you boosted their self-esteem or their ego like you you were like stroking their ego without knowing by just being yourself and being around them we have the knight of pentacles yeah this person could be taking notes or they could be slow to this is somebody who kind of slow to commit they like to drag their feet when it comes to commitment but if you were to tell them like yo let's get it on right now this person is going to be like at your house within minutes okay <laughs> this is what i'm getting here but this person yeah like you bruise this person's ego so who's spying on your social media Who's spying on your social media? You have exactly three cards. Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Guys, I can't make it up. And Knight of Wands energy. This is a player energy. Somebody who, like I said, slow to make a commitment with the Knight of Pentacles. But with the Knight of Wands, is quick to get it on with you. You tell them, yo, I want to get it. Like, you know, I would like to see you tonight. You know what I mean? This person's going to be at your house. Like, yo, without no doubt, they're going to come in smelling good, looking nice, ready to seduce, ready for action. But the minute you ask them for commitment, this person's going to go MIA, okay? <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who is financially stable. They are abundant. Like, when, they come, when it comes to relationship, this person how they show love i feel like it's through buying you gifts okay but maybe your love language might be um quality time okay spending time together getting to know each other and maybe this person is not really comfortable with that so who's um who's spying on your social media yeah somebody who doesn't want it to be a missed opportunity with you with the four of cups we also have the six of pentacles this person is looking to equally give to you but it's only for now until they get what they want because this person is really driven by their passion by their ego they're not driven by love we don't have the ace of um cups here so they're not driven by love yes the two cups is here but this person is not really in it for the same reasons okay it's not yeah we have the lovers but this person has feelings for you though that's the thing they, they play hard to get you know they were playing hard to get when you guys were talking to each other because i feel like it was just a talking stage you guys never really this connection never really got off the ground because of this person's ego and playing games i feel like this person could be emotionally manipulative okay or they like to manipulate with money they have like i'm telling you their ego is so huge that there it's inflated this person i feel like you poke a hole in it and now this person's like <laughs> they're they're feeling some type of way about that that you poked a hole in their ego because they're not used to being rejected this person is holding back from you with the four of pentacles yeah they're holding back from this connection because you really you really touch them okay so who's coming uh, i'm like who's coming yeah they're coming towards you because i just saw the chariot so who's spying on your social media we have the knight of swords yeah this is somebody who might be quick they like to do things quickly swiftly they're always in a hurry hasty they live in the moment they don't think about tomorrow they don't think about what could happen how their actions is going to affect the other person okay they don't yeah they could be yeah impulsive this is the energy i'm getting from this person or they could say things that they don't mean and then after they can't take it back because it's already been said and you know and they have a huge ego so they're not gonna apologize like this person has a lot of like emotional maturity to do 
okay so yeah page of pentacles this person may have breadcrumbed you i really feel like they have and we have the knight of wands again at the bottom of this deck i'm telling you this person is very impulsive i'm getting they they um operate out of their ego and they could be in their shadow side right now because you've hurt their feelings you and they like the thing is this person does not want to admit it to themselves because we have the five of cups in reverse but the five of pentacles right beside it so the five of cups is about emotional regret but it's in reverse so this person don't want to feel it that's what i'm getting here they don't want to feel the loss of you or the rejection from you and they want to brush it off but we have the eight of swords they're all up in their head about you they're all up in the head about the rejection and they're like yo like i ain't got it like that anymore like instead of like looking at it from a different perspective this person is looking at it like oh my gosh like i'm not that guy what so i'm losing my touch that's that's what i'm getting from this person instead of looking at it like okay so how can i approach the situation where pile number three might be of interest with me like might be interested in me instead of like me looking at it as if it's an attack to me as a person okay um they're not i feel like this person may not be self-aware of what they do and how they come up to others all right so why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media we have courtship guys i can't make it up i can't make it up they want to court you that's why they're spying on your social media they want to and this person wants to see if you're single ready to mingle okay why they <laughs> message of concern guys this person is concerned they're spying on your social media because they want to message you they want to ask you yo like you know you, you're not feeling me like that like is it really over like are you done with me <laughs> why you don't want to talk to me anymore what did i do wow God, this person is in despair oh oh my god <laughs> i'm laughing because this person is the one who brought this upon themselves it's like what did you expect pile number three to do to open up themselves to you just because you're attracted to them like no this is what this person doesn't understand. Like I said, they're not self-aware. This is somebody who is more in, like, you know, caught up in their ego. Their ego is bruised. And they want to, it's like they want to come back to you. They're spying on you to find a way to come back and court you. So that way they could appease their ego. Because like I said, you were stroking this person's ego when you were with them. Because they feel like I can get any baddie. I can get any man I want and I can get them to do what I want to do and you did not do what they want you to do you went your way because you're like no you're not gonna come into my life and then dictate how my life is going to run if you're gonna be in my life there's are certain standards that you have to abide by and this person is not liking that you have standards for yourself they may be used to people that have no standards or willing to do whatever they want okay just to keep them in their life and you're not like that so why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media we have great fortune this person is watching you they're spying on you because they see that you're leveling up with the great fortune and they're they're upset with that so why are they spying on your social media what do we have here what do we have we have mature men Mm, this person feels like you already found someone else whether it is a woman or a man they they feel like you are this person kind of feel like you're out of their league too okay so why are they spying on your social media that's too many cards but we have coffin community and poverty just one please why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media oh my god mature woman uh, guys <laughs> we have a message they want to talk to you they want to send you a message and we have message of concern this person the reason why they're spying on your social media because they may have heard that you met someone else because we have mature men and mature women they heard that you're dating someone else it may be true it may not be true but this is why they're spying on your social media because they're just they are in despair they're concerned that someone else is courting you 
and that you guys are gonna be great together or I'm also gonna like for some of you there could be a friend of theirs that is checking you out and now they're concerned they're wondering like if their friend got to you or because they like I feel like their friend is like yo okay well this person's single I like them I'm gonna holler at them and then they feel some type of way about that that could be one or like they heard that like somebody told them that they saw you with someone else and that's why they are in despair that's why they're spying on your social media to find out if it's true and if it's true this person's gonna come and cock block okay that's what I heard guys <laughs> they're gonna come in and cock block <laughs> all right so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be. So it could be your sign or this person's sign, okay? So who's spying on your social media? Who's spying on your social media? We have fourth house. We have uh, Mars and we have Aries. So this person and we have fifth house so this person could definitely have fire in their chart and we have the knight of wands mm. so it could be uh they could have aries in fourth house or aries and mars or that could be you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three Bye.